Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the St. Louis Blues GM mode with your failing St. Louis Blues in year number two. Missing the playoffs by one point. We just needed to win one more game and we would have been in the playoffs just fine. But Winnipeg took the last spot as we are not in the playoffs. And Jake Allen was a shit goalie this year. Wasn't very good last year. He's being traded in this episode. But last episode, I didn't really go into, go over into the points and standings. So, I mean, offensively, we had a pretty pretty decent year. We had six players over 50 points, so not much I can really complain about. I mean, like, every like there's a couple minuses in there, but, like, I, I thought acquiring the players I did would help, and it did, and we still missed the playoffs. I mean, it's just disappointing. Jake Allen, not a good year, my man. Let's check last year, too. Just back-to-back, non-consistent years, so... I think Jake Allen's going to go, boys. I really think he is. Rance, I didn't have a good year either, but he's back up. Better goals against average. I hope I wanted to go back here. So for year number two, let's check the point leaders and such. Not the HL. Um, let's go to entire league. And Patrick Kane had the most points along with Panarin, even though he's on the Blue Jackets now. So, wow, just that line really got to go in there. But Crosby with 83, yeah, just Kane just... Carried his team right now, or right there, I guess you could say. So, um, most goals, uh, Patrick Kane, Ovechkin, down to 42. Interesting. Tavares and Tarasenko. Tarasenko in second place. Good job, my man. And assist, uh, Panarin and Taves. Jocelyn Hosang. All right, interesting. Duncan Keith up there. Hedman. All right, not bad. And a lot of other players I expect to see up there. Where, where did, uh... Hmm, no Barbashev. Oh, well, there's Jane Schwartz. Jane Schwartz had a good playmaking year. I think I'm going to make Schwartz the playmaker next season. And then let's go to goaltenders here now. See who got the most wins. Definitely not Jake Allen. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, I think, it, yep, it was Devin Dubnik. So props to him. Raiden will be right behind. Yeah. Um, he's, yeah, Halak had more wins than uh, Jake Allen. Or no, yeah, by one. It's uh, pretty, pretty disappointing. Pretty disappointing. But I don't know, man. That just makes me so sad. Uh, wait, I want to check the standings game. <laughs> I, I keep double tapping circles sometimes because in other games, that's what I do. But um, here's the Central failure team with the Colorado Avalanche. The Atlantic. Wow, bad year for Tampa. The Metro. Bad year for the Rangers, too. Um, let's not go to the entire... Well, entire league, yep. Anaheim won the Presidents, who was... In last place in the league, the Tampa Bay. Well, Jesus, Tampa had a rough year. And then the Pacific, yep. There we go. L.A. had a bad year, too, and along with Edmonton, man. A lot of teams you think you do that would do good uh, this year. In this in this universe, I guess you could say. Didn't really perform. So, um, regular season's over, boys. It's really disappointing that we did not make the playoffs. Let's check the playoff tree, though, just because why not? You you, you want to see it, I guess. So we got Nashville versus Chicago. Good matchup. Dallas versus Winnipeg. Calgary versus San Jose. Another good matchup. Minnesota versus Anaheim, excuse me. And then we got Pittsburgh versus Columbus. So that's a good matchup. Washington versus, Island, or versus New York Islanders. That's another good matchup. Um, Senators versus Sabres. And... Maple Leafs versus Canadians. That's a great. That's the best series right there in the first round. So, comment down below who you think will win the cup. Won't be St. Louis. So, uh, let's go up to the draft. Alrighty. So, John Tavares and the New York Islanders are your Stanley Cup champions. The Birmingham, Birmingham, Birminghamton, Birminghamton. I don't even know. Senators won the Calder Cup. Calgary made it to the finals. Goudreau versus Tavares. Uh, that's that would be a fun series to watch, but um they're one in six. Sim up to the draft here. Shut up airplane. I'm trying to make my my sad recording of the blues. So looking at the draft lottery here, we got screwed. No, we didn't get screwed. We we just missed the playoffs. So getting twelfth. So much outside noise. Um getting twelfth isn't too bad. We'll see if we can move up, because you know why not? Um so let's view retired players. Anybody retire? So Daniel Sedin. This dude had a great season for us, scoring how many goals? Scoring 31 goals and 71 points at 37, and he retires. Great. And Chris Neal, we couldn't win the poor guy cup. We couldn't even make the playoffs for him, and he played his hardest. 
How many penalty minutes did he put up? <laughs> 144. He had 20 points too. So, G good job, James Neal, on a good career. Let's check um the rest of the league. See who who went. Goalies: Luongo and Miller, Smith. So decently known goaltenders. Only three retired, but skaters. There's gonna be a couple of guys here. Yarmir Yager, the legend. Has retired at Joe Thornton, Zetterberg, yeah, Taney Healy, Mike Fisher on the Blackhawks. Ooh, Fisher maybe signed a one-year deal with them. I don't even know. Roy, Stepniak, Cronwell, so Rip Detroit, Martin, Ward. Martin wasn't even that bad of a defenseman. He still had a, what, 86. He could have played a couple more years, yeah. So, not any, a lot of, um, a lot of grinders and, and bottom six players, uh, retired this year. So, props to them on good NHL careers, but... We need to regroup now. Now, looking at who we have to resign, we have to resign Rick the Dick, Cody CC, Stasny, Barbashev, Ranta, Edmondson, Fabry, and then after that, nobody really else matters. So, I don't know if we have the cap space. If we look, we only yeah, we only have six million in cap space. Oh no, boys, we'll get more when like we have to resign everybody, but still. What do we do? <laughs> so let's start up the draft here and does and and you know what's happening today, boys. The trade is being made with the Columbus Blue Jackets. And you know who's coming back. Not Winberg. Not Wurzinski. Sergei Bobrovsky. Can we get him from the Columbus Blue Jackets? Now we're over the cap shoot well i don't want to make um i don't want to trade course basalo because why would they want to give up a young goaltender i mean they have to resign him well let's take a look here i mean they don't want jake allen they're one of the teams is still over the okay so that's actually not gonna work so we got to find another option here so hold on one second you know what I'm going to make a decision here. We're not going to trade Jake Allen. We'll give him one more year. And if he does not perform to standards, he will go. So just to let you know, Jake Allen, we're not going to trade him. But he, um, if he fails to make me happy or do what he's supposed to do, then he will be traded. But TJ Oshie has such a big contract, but he had a good year. Third highest goal sc goal scoring season, so I don't know if I can trade him. Rick Nash, I mean, seven point eight. We'll get something back. We'll get cap space for that. Schwartz, Schwartz doesn't have to be signed this year. No, 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 no. Um, Fabry does. I mean, Fabry may go, but I can't because he, he scored so many goals. But who's our third line right wing? Exactly. So we can play the him there. So we got Fabry on the right wing, Sanford on the left. We got Saboka down the middle, I believe. If we don't have anybody playing third line center. We don't. But we got this Kairu guy here. So I made him better because he's a pretty good player for Team Canada when it matters. So, a defenseman. Do we make any trades for a defenseman? Do we try to get another top 2D man? Sammy Vatanen's a little overpriced. Didn't have a bad year, but... I don't know. Cody C, so we gotta resign. So, do we trade Vatanen? I feel like trading Vatanen and Duke. Come on. That for a top tier defenseman. That could be something we could go after. So let's see if I can find anything for this. All right, here's the trade we give him Sammy Vatnin and Reed Duke for Ryan Murray. The reason is because. Okay. Oh my God. I. Oh, uh, EA Sports. You're really getting in my head today, EA Sports. You really are. Reason being is because he's not happy being there. So he most likely won't resign because he has one year left on his deal. We're going to take Korpakoski and this prospect called. Adam, is it? Was it Adam Roo? Ru <laughs> it's going to be a hard one here. Adam. Was it Adam or something else? Adam Ruchiska. They took him 27th overall in 2017. Two way forward. Maybe he can turn out to be something. I know we don't need any more centers, but you never know. This guy could be something. So let's propose it. Trade accepted. All right. So they get Vaden and they want him. So now let's get Korpakoski out of here. Because we simply don't need him, Korpakoski. Somehow his value was up with Columbus, but now it's not. Um, let's, I want to say let's just find a team that want. Okay, here we go. We, boom. Let's get like a fourth round pick. I just, I just don't want his um. 
I don't want his cap. Well, if he was quality, he wouldn't have been traded. <laughs> so there we go. We got that cap out of there. Seven million in cap space. Is there anybody else we trade? I mean, I feel like um, Kairu's going to grow. So Saboka or somebody or Sanford or Fabry may have to go. Oh, it's so hard. I don't want to trade either of these guys. Okay, you know what? We'll see. If if somebody has to go, I hate to say it, it's gonna have to. Be, it may have to be Saboka. It may be. I mean, oh my god. Oh, it's so complicated. Or San, but Sanford, but he hasn't had crazy seasons down there. But he's young. Oh, it's such a hard choice. You know what? Forget it. Let's just. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's go now into the draft and let's see if we can move up. LA's at third here, so I imagine maybe we can go after the third. Okay, so they want to give it up. Okay, okay. Maybe we can give them something. So let's give us. Obviously, we got to give them our um, 12th overall pick, but who else can we give them? Got to take a drink here. Sorry. I want to see who they want. Skater. Okay, let's go to Skater's matching the block. Skater's matching the block. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you Tarasenko. Kairu, uh, you wouldn't want to take Nash because he has one year on his contract left. Okay, you know, they want Saboka. We got a, quite a few players to sign. I mean, what kind of season did he have? Uh, it, but he, he has such great defense. He has great all-around stats. That's why I don't want to give him up. He had 36 points on the third line was a plus 11. Yes, he had 40. Oh, my God. It's such a hard choice. Maybe Cody Franzen's got to go. What kind of, I mean, he was a plus 2. Oh, he had 17 points on the top 6. It's Oh, it's such a hard decision of who goes and who stays. All these guys have one year left. I'm not, I, Sanford, he doesn't have to be signed, but still. I can't trade Sanford. He's 23. You never know what he can do. Oh, we're such in a bad spot right now. Does Ed, but Edmondson's... Nope, he's out. he has one year left. You know, this team hasn't gotten it done. I think we got to make some moves in order if we want to retool and be successful. So, let's bring Saboka to the LA Kings. And, of course, they're over the cap. They're over by $2 million. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Please tell me you have a dead contract I can take. They got... How has Defoley been playing on RFA this whole year? Oh, he didn't even play. Never mind. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I mean, maybe we could try to trade for Defoley. <laughs> nah, I don't think it happened. I don't think they'd want to give him up. No, I'm not taking on just Dustin Brown. Justin. Dustin Brown. Sure, what's your contract? Oh, that could be something. Lewis. 1.9 for... Th okay, how about we take... Him? No, pff, yeah, I'm going to take... Oh, pff. Okay, we'll take these two and see if that's enough. Hopefully it is. We'll just trade them, trade them away to another team. Okay, it is enough. But there's also that Vakening guy, that defensive prospect they want to give up. 75 at 19, low trade value. Let's try to go after it. Let's see what we can get. It's not going to be easy, but you never know. We're, we're going we're gonna to have to give them a prospect back. So a prospect they want, I imagine. We're not giving up Kyber. Man, this is, oh, this, this is going to be a long video, so buckle in, boys. Okay, we don't need prospects, so... Alright, we don't need prospects. We don't need any more centers, so let's give him Harkins. That's obviously not going to be enough. So we'll take Harkins. Harkins. And we will give them maybe Morin, and that should go through. Morin. It's close. Let's see. Trade Jack. It, it's a bit off, actually, now that I'm looking at... I don't want to give up that Papagoo guy. Papagoo, Pap Papa... Papagweb? I don't even... I don't know anymore. So maybe we add in Mackinnon to I don't Smoltz has one year left on his deal, so they won't take him. Can that go through? No. Just a little bit. So maybe if we put a second round pick. God, this is tedious. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those videos. Maybe if we put in a second round pick. How many second round okay, only mine. But can it go through? It did. There. Oh my goodness. That took so long. So now we have the third overall pick. But we're still not done yet. We can't get to the drafting. We still, we still got rookies I want to give up and get more prospects back for. So, we'll rinse and repeat. So, Mackinnon. So, let's get all these guys here. that it? All right. Let's see if we can get, like, some... Let's see if we can get, like, a second and a third. Minnesota. <laughs> I would like that if you could. So, um, nope. They don't... Well, we could go... We could go after another first. But, uh, actually, can we? 
Can, wait, can we get it with? Can we get? Can we get? It? They want to give it up. Can we get it? Oh, no, no, no. We okay. We got to make a rule. We can't go at first with just prospects. We got to add a player. In. It's all about two seconds. Two. All right, went through. Okay, so I believe we made all the changes we need to make. We have the third overall pick now. Thank you, LA. Oh, they took him. Ryan Mercury. I was going to try to go after him again, and they took Dallin. So who does that leave us with? Levin's there. There's Vo Fuck Volano. Vo okay, okay. Zidane. Drew, Drew, Drew Lex. Ooh, David Levin's a, re a left wing sniper. 5'11", 177, pretty decent stats. Let's take him third overall, and he will be medium elite. Very nice. So that two-way forward was a medium elite. Roberts, high top six, thank goodness. And that guy, oh, that guy was a medium elite too. Right, I, I edited some of these players, right? Couldn't remember. So let's keep going through here. So there's our third overall pick this year, taking David Levin, a very simple name for, for me to pronounce, actually. <laughs> Because we all, we all know how I am with names and words in general. Wow, this draft is trash. Let's just take the McKenzie guy, uh, French starter. Yeah, this this draft, there isn't anything to take. So I think we're just going to um, simulate through the whole thing. There was not much there at all. <laughs> Jeez, that, that was, I was seeing HL in the second round. So let's just get through it. All right, now the now the fun part, <laughs> the re-sign phase, and how much cap space are we gonna have to sign the a couple major players here? Go to contracts. Oh boy, we have twenty. Okay, so we have twenty six million. Let's okay. So I'm gonna show you the guys I'm gonna release. Obviously, so Pajarvi, I mean, he wants a two way Ferraro, two way Dejardin. Nah, he wants two years. We gotta let him go. Nestrasil, he wants a two-way. Reeves, he wants one million. Nope, he's gonna just drop. I'm sorry that I know Reeves is a fan favorite, but no. Rick Nash. Uh, okay, so he goes down. So we'll see what we can do with Rick Nash. Same thing with Stasny. Yeah. Oh yeah. He want he okay. He wants to get paid more as he gets older. Nice joke. Um, so I think we'll keep everybody there. Ransoff is Patrick. Yep, we'll keep. Um, Limbaum will go, no sick, ratty, schmaltz, yep, everybody there is going to stay, unsigned, Owen Tippett didn't even grow, it's making me mad, man, it's making me mad, but there's David Levin, 62 overall at 18, pretty good, um, this Kaiser guy, we drafted him this year, not bad, actually, but, um, nothing good, nothing good from that draft, so, we got a lot of players to sign, so I'll be right back with you guys in a second. Alrighty, we got everybody signed here, but there's one issue. Stasny. I offered him a contract, and he said he doesn't want to be here anymore. Which makes me really, uh, really sad. Because that's, uh, not very nice, for one thing. Oh, we actually forgot to get Ranta here. Um, let's go down to, like, 1.4. He'll take that. But yeah, Stasny. I offered him three years at 5.5. Let's offer this and see if he wants to stay. So I'm not too happy being on this team anymore, even though we're still listed as a contender. So let's advance the day here and see what he says. Really. Yeah, look, I'm not too happy being on this team anymore. What a dick move, honestly. That, that makes me so mad. Like, what a, like... It drives me insane, basically. Like, I don't know what to do. We had one bad year. One. And he wants to leave. If I would have known, maybe he should have told me that so I could have tried to trade him. But no, we gotta be a little bitch. Oh my fucking god, Ranta. You know what? You know what? No. Gustafin will be the backup. We don't need Ranta. Fuck Ranta. We don't need you either, Ranta. If, you're just, if you think you haven't got us to the... Okay. No, 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 no. Let's get Ranta out of here. Okay. Back to this. Stasny. Like, why? Like, uh, I'll offer you two years. Two years, that's seven million, and we'll trade you. 7.1, I'll give you a million more. I'm sure there's a team out there that'll want you. Like, so dumb. We're not, if he, if he does accept, we're not keeping him.
That really pisses me off. You know what? Fuck Stasny. Let's see. What has he done for us? What has he done? What has he done exactly? Let's check the playoffs in the regular season before he goes. And acts like a little bitch. Um, yeah, minus 11 this year. Had two pretty decent years, and then the playoffs came. Yeah, not bad, but um, he's being a little bitch, and I'm not going to take this attitude. I'm really not. It's it's honestly pissing me off. I'm offering him... I, okay. It's two years. 7.5. If he doesn't if he doesn't want to sign, we don't keep him. He, he can go to free agency, and I'd love to see a team that wants to pay so much for him. Because he's not going to perform up to the standards. And is oh 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 okay nope he's still he's still going boys we're trading him. I overpaid like hell to get him and we are not keeping him. I don't care if players get upset. He is um he is not staying on St. Louis. Not with the little with the whiny attitude he has. So free agents here we got Vlasic, Atkinson, Hornquist, Johnson, Little. So some uh oh Kalgoor grew um some pretty uh. Well known free or pretty good free agents here. Maybe we go after Vlasic. Nah. Hornquist and Atkinson are asking for way too much money, but we always gotta go down this. We gotta see we gotta see the prospects. So let's get this this guy. We always use these guys as trading assets. Let's go to centers. Get this guy. Just like I said, just use them for trading assets. That's all they are really, unless they're really good. Um left winners. We'll take yep, we'll offer this guy. Get fifty, get Grunstrom, yep. They don't turn into anything. I've known that, but trading assets are key. Um, nothing there for the right wingers. Any more defensive prospects? We've got a couple actually. Uh, let's get this green guy. Okay, let's get Soder home. Boom. Like I said, all they are is trading assets. So, but Stasny is definitely going. I'm not liking his attitude. It's not like he's carried this team or anything. So. That's why I'm upset about it. Oh, Jones is there. Anderson's there. We could go after him, but no. We're going to give Jake Allen one more chance. One more chance. So, Stasny is going to go. I'm going to find a trade for him right now. I don't want his attitude anymore. So, Stasny, this is your last day as a blue. Alrighty, here's the trade, and boy, this could be huge. So, Stasny and a prospect with high trade value for the Nuge and David Desjardins. And the reason, the Nuge... The reason is because he's 88 overall, perfect second line material. Um, if we look, at, and you obviously know who the top two players are here in uh, Edmonton, McDavid and Drysaddle. So Nugent Hopkins really isn't getting the ice time, or he isn't getting played where he wants. So he's not too happy. So if we bring him over here to St. Louis, I, he would get the ice time he deserves. And they want Stasny, and they could use veteran leadership over there in Edmonton. So I think this trade works around for everybody. So, we have to take Desjardins just for cap reasons, but this is what it's looking like. Will it go through? Trade rejected. Oh, my God, of course. Of course, it was too good to be. It's too good to be. Let's offer another... Ugh, so annoying. Let's offer these two prospects. Come on, it's got to go through. Oh, my God. EA Sports. EA Sports. EA Sports. It's not in the game. Oh my god, okay, defenseman actually. Okay, no, we can't give him a defenseman, that's a cap. Son of... Okay, you know what? A prospect is going to have to go. And you know who it's going to be? It is going to be... I think it's going to be Papagoo, man. Papagoo, Papagoo. I think it's going to have to be him. David Levin's the left wing of the future. I, I think we got to let him go, boys. So let's propose it. Trade accepted. I'm sorry, Papagoo, I had to do it. I had to do it, man. But we got the Nuge now on the St. Louis Blues. Let's also get, um... Let's get the oh, oh, I forgot to trade those guys. Um, Jardin, Shore. Let's get all these guys out of here. Wait, where's the other one? Where's, uh... Yeah, Lewis. We gotta get all these cap out of here. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, we'll just dump them on, uh... On Florida. They're not gonna do anything with these players. We'll take, um... We'll take a second, maybe, for these guys. If we can get that. Uh, no, no, no. How about like a third, fourth, fifth, I guess. Third, fourth, fifth. Um, yeah. Okay. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. Freaking salary. It's not like you're making the playoffs, Florida. You don't need salary retained. Oh, my God. One million. There we go. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, the contract to Nick Shore. Are you fucking serious, bro? Why does this game hate me? Why? I feel like it just hates me. What? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, you have to overpay for everything, man. Jesus. Okay, forget it. We got the trade to go through. So what we need now? We need a fourth line center. And a right wing. Fourth line center, right wing. Correcto, correcto. I believe so. Well, we have Kairu, so... Okay, let's just get one that's like going a two-way deal. Okay, how about two-way? Hold on. Never mind. Okay, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I just want somebody. Like, why do these guys want so much money? Okay, Baquet, how about you? I'll offer you something. And then right winners. Oh, my God. Nope, he's, our, he's a restricted free agent. Um, We could go wing. Oh, no, 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 no. His morale's down. Uh, fair, no. Nope, 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 nope. We, were, Stewart, we could bring Stewart back. Wants well, a little bit too much, though. Uh, I don't want to bring Reeves back. No, he's going to drop. Okay. We are not in a good spot here. Okay, you know what? I think we got enough prospects that can come up. So let's just offer that one contract. Advance the days here and see what we can get. I believe we got everybody, though, that we need. Let's, get, let's advance the days here. We'll check the rewards after we have everybody signed or see if everybody accepts our offers. Let's advance here. We got Paquette, and it looks like we got all the prospects. Noise, noise. Okay, so let's go to stats here. Awards. Okay, so your Stanley Cup champions, the Islanders, presidents went to the Anaheim, Princess Campbell to Calgary, Prince of Wales to the Islanders, R. Ross, Kane, Hart, Panarin, James Norris, Keith. So what a year for Chicago. Lady Bing, Panarin, Calder, Barzell, Con Smythe, Tavares, Vesna, Gibson, William Jennings, Gibson, Bill Mash, Finn Merle. Selkie, Taves, Ted Lindsay, Panarin, Maurice Richard, Kane. What a year for Chicago. What a year. So I believe... Wait, we got everybody else signed, right? Let's advance one more day. Uh, advance one more. Yep, okay. We got everybody signed. So free agency is basically done with for us. Let's go into next season. Alrighty, here we are a couple weeks before preseason in year number three. And this is what the year three St. Louis Blues are looking like. So, line number one, we got Schwartz, Barbasev, Tarasenko. Second line, Nash, Nugent Hopkins, Oshi. So, it, will, it looks just fine to me right now. Third, Sanford, Kairu, Fabry. So, Fabry's listed as a second liner, which I disagree with, but we'll give him some nice time, of course. Had a good, had 22 goals last season. Gotta give him the chance. The fourth, we got Pajarvi, no sick pocket because the reason Pajarvi's up here is because he can play defense pretty well, along with Paquette and the no six. So, our offensive core looks just fine to me. I think it should be able to get it done. Defensively, we got Petrangelo, CC, Perenko, Murray, Schmaltz, and Edmondson. So that means Cody Franzen is out of here. He's gonna have to be traded. He has 7 deep potential. He's not a bad defenseman, but I just we have Schmaltz. He's younger. His, drop, his potential isn't going to drop, so we got to go with them. And then in net, we got Allen and Fitzpatrick, who's now up to an 83. He jumped up four, so maybe this is the goal of the future right here, hopefully. But we'll find out as time goes on. And then in the AHL, we just got all the prospects and such down here. Our whole defensive core is filled with prospects, including including this trading asset right here, Luke Green. Drafted by Winnipeg Jets, 2016. Yeah, he's a pretty decent pick, but... He's going to be a trading asset for us. I don't plan on keeping him. We already have so many young defensemen. And there's the um, goaltending and such. So the AHL team don't really care about it. But Cody Franzen will be traded in the, in the next video. Tell me what I should trade him for. I'll pick or maybe an underrated prospect or just trade. And, and obviously just trade him get his salary out of here. But just want to save it for next video. So yeah, guys, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more content like this every day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.